Hello to the side and back. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tokika Uzuru, also known as Toki, and welcome back to today's episode of what the heck am I doing with my hair anymore? Because no, I don't even know either. But when I'm not trying to figure out what my hair is doing or the mystical side of life, I am trying to put mine together because it looks like a mess. So in doing that, I have gone through, I've been trying to go through several things, not all at once. Don't do that. That's not a good idea. And one of the things that I realized was I wanted to go ahead and wake up around six o'clock in the morning. And it's not like I don't wake up because I already set an alarm, I already set an alarm for six o'clock and made sure it was as long that I'm okay with waking up to or okay with hating because I have to wake up to it. And after watching several different videos of how to wake up early and other videos talking about the benefits of getting more sleep, like about seven to nine hours, but so like most things, I wanted to go ahead and start where the core problem is. And again, that is me actually getting my butt up, which would also mean that the core problem is me going to bed. So what am I supposed to do to be able to actually get to bed on time and not end up going to bed at like midnight to two o'clock in the morning. On a similar note, we'll figure that out as we get there. I ended up buying a new journal from the dollar store because I thought I needed a new, a new journal. This is exactly what happens when you have a writer in your family. And I'm like, okay, so what do I need this journal for? helping me get my life together. That's what I'm using this journal for. And I started originally writing down a plan of how to actually go to bed on time. So while I have written down tips to go ahead and share with you all on how to actually get yourself ready for bed and actually go to bed on time, I will actually be trying to implement these specific tips for me and I'll go ahead and make an update video on whether it has actually worked whether I have actually stayed on whatever plan I've made for myself or whether I had to go ahead and change a few things to help myself out so here are the tips that I thought I would need and would like to share on how to go to sleep at a reasonable time Let's begin. The first thing I'm going to say is that a night routine is almost as is just as important as a morning routine. I've already made myself a morning routine. I get up, I work, wait. I get up, I go to the bathroom, I go get a workout. I've changed that by the way. After a workout, I go back to the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face in that order, make sure I go ahead and put on like whatever serum or moisturizer that I need to go ahead and put on that day. After I get back into the room, after being in the bathroom, I go ahead and clean up my room, like do a bit of a tidy up, you know, make my bed, take the yoga mat that I have and roll it, roll it up and put it away and go to do my vocal warm-ups as I am like putting on my chapstick like moisturizer for my lips and putting my plants where they need to be right now Steven is upstairs so yeah I already have a morning routine set and I didn't have a night routine so many people in there how to wake up at a uh, wake up early videos talk about how you need to have a night routine and I'm like okay I kind of already have like a night routine it's it's a loose one so I'm still able to go ahead and do it but I haven't made myself a very specific night routine that I have to go ahead and start at a specific time and here's some tips to go ahead and help out with making a night routine 
number one, list what you need to do to get ready for bed. Like before you go to bed, list the things that you want to go ahead and get done or need to get done. Let's say for me, I got to brush my teeth, wash my face, take my allergy meds, although that might not be a part of it anymore because it's about to become fall and I'm about to not have to use my allergy meds. Second thing, find a day where you're able to go ahead and time how long it takes you to do that. I've already timed myself by watching YouTube videos while I'm brushing my teeth and washing my face. And I know that doesn't take more than like 12 minutes for me, but then there's also whether I have to use the bathroom afterwards. And then there's also the whole moisturized serum, whatever. So I give myself about 20 minutes for that. The third tip that I have is to take time to calm down. Basically get off your phone or whatever technological device that you're using, put it down. Right now is the time to go ahead and calm down. Be chill, maybe do some bedtime yoga or read, you know, the stereotypical Tumblr stuff that people tell you to do in these type of videos. But surprisingly enough, it actually does help. Unless your f device has like a nighttime mode or a nighttime filter where, um, <laughs> takes out all of the cool blue tones of the screen which will end up keeping you awake just like lessen your amount of time on your phone and and or other um technological de technological device there we go but finally the fourth tip that i'm going to go ahead and share here is set a time to start this routine and a bedtime this will be able to allot you the amount of time that you have from the start of your bedtime routine to actually going to bed. And I'm starting to try to get myself to bed at 11. So what I decided to do was set my time for like 10 o'clock, which is usually when I end up taking my med, um, allergy meds anyway. Here's the second problem that most people have. And that's actually executing the plan and making sure that they stay consistent on it. And that's also the thing that I want to go ahead and try to work on. So the thing that we have to remember here is to make it near or next to impossible to forget about it and make yourself accountable. If you see that you haven't started and it's already past the time that you set for it, get up, get it done. You don't always have to stick to the same thing, which is probably one of those issues. You will have to go ahead and change it, change and adapt it to make sure that it's suitable for how your life is, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing too. But now I think it's time for me to go ahead and do the stereotypical YouTuber outro where I tell, where I as a stereotypical YouTuber tell you please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and turn it to all notifications to make sure that you are notified when i post comment below any type of topics you want me to go ahead and talk about on this channel or any other tips that you would like to go ahead and give other people in the comment section below i've been tokiko uzuru and i am calling out